was scrolling through Facebook, you know, like you do, and I saw the 22 best things that book lovers are splashing all their cash on. Improve your reading game with these much loved book gadgets. And I thought, well, we just need to turn on the camera and see what is this all about? <laughs> So we are going to explore this together and see what we find. Okay, here we go. This library kit is perfect for book hoarders. If you love loaning books to your friends but hate the fact you sometimes don't get them back, there's a library kit that'll help you keep track of all your literary comings and goings. And it looks like, um, it looks like there's a little card that you can put into the book and there's a little list where you can write in who has, who has your books. I would never use this because I do not loan out books. I just don't trust people with my books. I really just don't. Let's see what else there is. These socks will keep book lovers feet warm. Cheeky message on these cozy socks. Okay, hang on though. I gotta click on this so I can't even see what it says. Um, oh, okay, no, 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 get rid of that, we don't want that. That is not a cheeky message, that is a profane message, and I don't like profanity, so we don't want to know that. No, no, no. This neck light is great for nocturnal readers. Oh, so it goes around your neck and it shines light on the book. Okay, that's, that's kind of cute. It says it minimizes fights for those who share a bed, and I don't share a bed, I can have the light on all night if I want to. So I don't really need a night light to like not disturb somebody else because there is nobody else. <laughs> the benefits of a single life. <laughs> okay, this cute sign says it all. Go away, I'm reading. Actually, I do like that. <laughs> or something so that then people would know like, don't bother her, she's reading right now. I think that's cute, I like that. Okay, page holder will save you from thumb strain. Oh no. Because we all have thumb strain from turning the pages or from holding the pages. Trying to read, read one hand and can be a painful experience. Oh no, you never have to suffer from reader's thumb again. That's, I don't know, that just seems a little silly. I don't have thumb strain from holding open the pages. Um, I don't know, have you guys ever used anything like that? It seems like it's kind of superfluous. This t-shirt tells the world about your book obsession. Um, I can't quite read the writing though. A, bibli a bibliophobia. Oh, it's the fear of running out of books. Oh, I definitely have that. That's why I have shelves and shelves and shelves of unread books. <laughs> Cause I have a fear of running out of new reading material. It's ridiculous, but there it is. When I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of access to books. And so I think I have like this latent childhood fear that I'm afraid that I'm not gonna have enough books. So actually this t-shirt would be very appropriate, very apt for me. <laughs> this bookmark holds your pages open. This weighted bookmark will hold your place. It'd be great to help you read hands-free. Actually, that might be kind of useful. I mean, usually, when I'm reading and I want to like hold it open, I just put my phone on top to like hold the pages there. But actually, this might be kind of useful. That's something, the thumb thing, I don't think I need, but that I think I might actually use. This reading pen is absolutely ingenious. Clever gadget makes note taking an absolute breeze. You can even look up definitions of words. Plus, make it read aloud to you. What in the world? I'm not sure what. The C pen is great. What is that? Is it like a highlighter or something? Okay, we need to click on this and just see like what's going on. Whoa, $275. <laughs> what in the world for a pen? This, okay. Uh, hear words aloud. Um, okay, it's like a dictionary. You can scan the word. It'll look it up in the dictionary for you. Um, scan to file. So I guess you scan the words and then it will, it will like save it for you in a little highlighted file or something. But still, that ain't worth no $300. What in the world? I could just write myself a sticky note. <laughs> just look it up in the dictionary or a dictionary app or something. Like, what do I need that for? That's insane. So expensive. Okay, this tote is perfect for carrying books. Oh, this is cute. 
This is actually really cute. And the very top book is Through the Looking Glass. Hmm, so very fun. This looks adorable. This clip light has two settings, two levels of brightness. Um, what? It, one picture says 100% and the other picture says 50%, but it's the same picture. It doesn't show two different levels of brightness. Um, I'm not sure. That's really weird. Oh, I have this! This book stand is stunningly classy. Yes, it is. That was actually a gift from my sister. She got that for me and I love it so much. I don't usually use it for reading. I use it more just for display. So I will have books displayed on it more than like, oh, I'm gonna sit down and put my book that I'm reading on it. Oh, I have this one too. I, ha I have this cushion and it was a gift. It says just one more chapter. I have that on my bed. And yeah, that was a gift I think last Christmas from a friend of mine and she got me that and I love it. It's so cool. Okay, let's see. We have a mug that says bookmarks are for quitters. I love that. Oh, this is really cute. I like this design. This journal helps keep track of your reading. Ah, interesting. There's like a little place for a reading challenge, place where you can list all your different reading. And you can even write in like some little quotes and stuff. Oh, and you can do a reading tracker, a daily reading tracker. Actually, I really like that. Put in just check off every day. I read something. Yeah, I really like this. This is really, this is really neat looking. This light will teach kids it's fun to read. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's so, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Oh, this is the cutest thing ever. Oh, and it comes in different colors and it's only 10 bucks. Hey, that's really, that's a good price and really, really cute and adorable. And I'd have to get that for my nieces. That's really sweet. This bookshelf is a beautiful talking point. So I have seen designs of bookshelves like this before and they are really cool looking, like a book tree or whatever, but I feel like you can't put that many books on it. So I need something with a little more room for all my books. This reading nook does it all in one. A storage, a place to sit, a cute feature. So there's a place for books and a place for them to sit and a place for a little lamp. I do like that. The review says a little wobbly. Oh yeah, and like there's a kid jumping all over it. You don't want something that's wobbly. You want something that's a little more sturdy than that. So I don't know about that. This ladder shelf is minimal and chic. I do like this style, but then you can see the shelves get smaller and smaller and smaller as you go up. And they don't even have any books on this. Probably the shelves aren't even like wide enough to, to fit any books on. So that just defeats the purpose. I don't want that. This blanket looks almost homemade. Rather than getting out the yarn and needles yourself, get this blanket. That does look really cute and cozy. And I'm sitting here looking at this like, I could make that. I could totally knit that. But how much is it? Oh, wow. That is the most Photoshopped dog I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mr. Photoshop dog. This looks really cute. I love the pattern and the cable and everything. I love the color. $31. That's actually not bad at all. I mean, for a really nice throw um, blanket like that, that's actually a pretty good price. This candle helps build a cozy atmosphere. Oh my goodness, that candle is humongous. What in the world? I mean, I like candles, but nothing that huge. Jeez, that's a little too humongous. <gasps> Ooh, these bookmarks are a thing of beauty. Oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. Wow, these are like beautiful designs. It's like a little charm, I guess, that would hang out of the book. Really pretty. Are you kidding me, 10 bucks? These are only 10 bucks for all four of them? Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And you can see they're, from the hand in the picture, you can see they're pretty big, really. They're not like tiny or something. Okay, those are definitely going on my wish list. Cozy socks, shh, I'm reading. I do like that, that looks really cute. That way if somebody comes up and bothers you, you just stick your foot in their face and it says, I'm reading. <laughs> this fleecy blanket comes in tons of shades. Okay, so we got another blanket. Why are there so many blankets? I don't know. Um, let's see how this one compares to the other one. Okay, so for the same size, this one's only $15.99, whereas the other one was $31.99. So if you wanted the fancy cable knit, you could pay more, or if you just want a plain fleece, you get the cheap one. This bookmark is absolutely adorable. Oh, it's a little, it's a little leaves. Little leaves coming out of your book. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so, that's so cute. I'm about to die, that's adorable. 
These little sprouts are just the cutest thing. Open the book and boop, there's a little sprout. Okay, everyone is a reader. Some just haven't found their favorite book yet. I absolutely believe that. People just need to find their favorite book. This sitting pillow offers support when reading in bed. I don't really like those kind of pillows. I think, I don't know, they're never that comfortable to me and they're just kind of ugly. This canopy turns a corner into a reading nook. That is really cute. I would love that for like a little kid's room, you know, and just give them like a little reading corner with a little bookshelf and they could sit there all cozy in their little tent and read. That's kind of cute. I like that. This oh, well then in your tent, you need a floor pillow. So you get a little, a little cushion to put on the floor in your tent. I like that. Oh, not for, not for 60 bucks though. I'm not paying 60 bucks for it. Sorry. Bedside lamp offers gorgeous ambiance. So that's a cute lamp. I don't know, it doesn't look like anything particularly special or whatever. I guess it's like, it's you can change the light level so it's not too bright or something, whatever. These bookmarks are literally works of art. Ooh, oh, I'm intrigued. These look amazing. What, currently unavailable? Man, I'm, oh, I'm so disappointed. Those are really cool. Man, I really wanted those. Oh, key ring. If I can't take my book, I'm not going. And there's a little tiny book charm. Oh my goodness, I would love this. I'm putting this on my wish list for sure. I love having key rings and different stuff on my keys and everything. So that would be really cute. $11, see? Ah, oh, that's perfect. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. I'm for sure getting that. These bookends really emphasize your love of reading. Those are kind of cute. I do like those. That's a neat little design and everything. Oh, but not for $35. Nope. Okay, that's a bit much. Just for two bookends, 35 bucks. Um, that's a bit steep for me. No, thank you. I like the design, but not that much. Tissue box is a book lover's dream. Oh, how cute. Oh, you put the tissues inside and it looks like books. Oh my God. That's really cool. I actually really love that. That looks really neat. Bath caddy, I never take baths. Corner bookmarks, eh, those don't look particularly fancy or anything. I don't really care about those. Magnifier suited for tired eyes. So magnifier and it has lights on it to aid your vision. If you really needed help and you had bad eyesight, I think that would be, you know, really helpful probably. I mean, I don't need it, but it looks pretty cool. And those are the 37 gadgets for book lovers. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what's one of your favorite things in that list. And of course, I will try to leave Amazon links to everything down in the description in case you want to look up any of these and put them on your wish list for yourselves. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.